Hey, I'm Adam and I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of training your mind and how you can do it for yourself. So training your mind is a very subtle thing that you can do for yourself and it's difficult for me to motivate you to put in the time and the effort to actually sit down and train your mind. The thing is that all the results that you're going to get are very subtle and they're not as obvious as going to the gym, for example. So if I was some big jacked guy, which of course I, I am, but uh, hypothetically, if I was uh, some bodybuilder and I was trying to explain to a little scrawny guy why they should go to the gym, it's very obvious for me to show them my results because my results are obvious. Look, I got big, huge muscles and the scrawny guy doesn't have any muscles. So working out is an example of a training where the results are obvious and almost immediate because that scrawny guy goes to the gym for a month and he's already going to start seeing results. Now, the reason that this differs from training your mind with meditation is that you will not see the results in the first month or the results that you do see are going to be very subtle and they're not going to be as obvious. For example, you're going to be walking down the street and you're going to look at a tree uh, and you're going to appreciate the tree more and you're going to look at the like the leaves and all the veins that are in the leaf and you're just going to have a moment of appreciation for nature. And that's something that is a lot more subtle than having bigger biceps, for example. Now, uh, here's a quick list of all the benefits that you can get in your life uh, if you put in a, just a little bit of time and effort every day in uh, into training your mind with meditation. So uh, one of the first benefits you'll get is you'll have an easier time going to the gym and working out. Uh, you'll have an easier time doing your homework. You'll have a much easier time dieting and changing up your diet and eating healthier food. You're going to have a much easier time attracting members of the opposite sex. And you're going to have a much better sex if you train your mind. It's difficult to explain why, but I'm going to get into the mechanics of why this works a little bit after. Uh, you're going to have more self-esteem, more confidence. Uh, you're going to feel better about yourself. And you're also going to have more courage to go out there and do uh, the emotionally difficult things in life. So let's quickly talk about how you can train your mind and why it works. So I'm going to go over three different ways that you, you can train your mind. The first way is called strong determination sitting. So this is where you sit in a posture uh, with a straight back. Uh, you can cross your legs if you want. You can sit uh, on a chair with your back away from the back of the chair. And you're going to sit, you're going to set a timer for maybe 30 minutes and you are not going to move a muscle. You're not going to voluntarily move for the entire 30 minutes. So that means that if you have a, an itch on your arm, you cannot scratch it. You cannot move. You can't fidget, you can't sway, nothing. If, if your butt hurts and your back is extremely sore from sitting perfectly still for a long period of time, you can't move. You can't adjust your back so that it feels better. You need to sit there and you need to sit in that grueling pain of uh, your butt and your back pain and there's no moving and th the way that this trains your mind is you need to be able to cope with that suffering that you're experiencing from not being able 
to move and your mind is going to be going all over the place. You're going to be getting bored, restless. You're going to think about all the other things that you could be doing instead of just sitting and doing nothing. Uh, and it's your job to accept those thoughts and to see that those thoughts are trying to convince you to, <laughs> and they're trying to trick you into moving, even though the point of the mind training is to not move. I have a time lapse that I'm going to show you after uh, I'm finished uh, talking at this video and I sit and don't move any muscles for 85 minutes, which is a really big accomplishment uh, because I've spent uh, two years training my mind and that's uh, just an example of an obvious thing that now I'm able to sit for really long periods of time and not move since I am a lot better at, at uh, controlling my thoughts now. So quickly, second way uh, to train your mind is called focusing on your breath. Uh, sit down 20 minutes, straight back, set a timer, close your eyes. Focus your attention on your breath. When you start thinking about all the other things that you should be doing instead of meditating, all the homework that you have to do, thinking about all the people that you have to text and all your friends that you're going to hang out with. When your attention is swaying away, gently bring it back to your breath without judging. And you're going to do that over and over again for 20 minutes. Uh, if you get bored, bring it back to the breath. If your ass starts to hurt, attention back to the breath. The last way that you can train your mind uh, is with repeating a mantra. So uh, pick a prayer. I'll give you a good prayer right now. It's by St. Francis of Assisi. It's called the Serenity Prayer. So you're going to pick this mantra and you're going to repeat it over and over in your head very slowly and very deliberately and you're going to focus your attention on the words. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. So you're going to take those words, very powerful words, and you're going to sear them into your mind over and over and over again, almost like praying the rosary where you say 50 of the same prayer over and over again. Uh, and when your attention uh, moves away from the prayer, you're going to gently go back and start the mantra again, and you're going to focus all your attention on that mantra. So. Let's quickly get into the mechanics of why this actually works and how sitting there for 30 minutes and not moving anything is actually training your mind. Well, the first way that I can explain it to you is do it yourself. There's no better way to see uh, the benefits of training your mind and how untrained your mind is if you just try it and sit and do it yourself. Uh, I bet you have a thousand reasons of why you're not actually gonna, gonna try it out. I'm, I'm gonna challenge you to set a timer for 30 minutes, sit back straight, don't move. And I wanna see how long you could do it. Uh, I want, I'm challenging you to if you can do 30 minutes I bet you can't even do one minute because you won't even have the mental fortitude to actually convince yourself to sit down and do it. So right now you're at zero minutes. I bet you can't even do one minute because you're going to take what I say and you're going to say, yeah, yeah, whatever, training your mind and you're going to ignore it and then you're going to forget about it and you're going to do zero minutes of strong determination sitting. I want to see if you can get to 30. Uh, the reason why training your mind uh, works uh, through meditation is because uh, your thoughts are going to fight you and they're going to try and convince you to uh, get out of the present moment and to think about all the stuff you have to do in the future or maybe you're going to spend time reminiscing of all the memories that you've had in the past. 
Uh, but your job is to take those thoughts and kind of shoo them away very gently and you're going to let them pass so that you can focus on the present moment and you're basically doing this over and over again. Every single time you get a thought or you have a thought and you let it go, that's like doing one rep at the gym and each sit is like a set like a set at the gym so when you go to the gym you usually uh, you get some big weights and then you do eight reps right and then that's one set and then maybe you'll do three sets and then you're done for that exercise when you're doing meditation one set is when you sit down to do the meditation and each rep is when you have a thought and maybe you get lost in it for 20 seconds and then you notice it and then you let it go that's one rep and after doing this for an extended period of time, your, your, uh, your muscles in your mind that allow you to be aware of your thoughts and to transcend your thoughts and to go beyond the content of your thoughts and to see them for what they actually are, those muscles are going to be slowly trained and you're going to experience some amazing results in your life. So now I'm going to show you a time lapse of me doing a strong determination sit for 85 minutes. That's my personal record. I'm actually very proud of that. Uh, you'll see uh, it's, it's gonna look uh, very <laughs> kind of boring because uh, I'm gonna be sitting there, but pay attention to uh, how I don't move any of my muscles and, for, and I'm really struggling to keep my eyes open and as I approach the 60 to 70 minute mark, my legs are absolutely on fire and there, and my entire left leg went completely numb and it hurts so much, but I was able to go beyond all of the thoughts that were telling me to get up and to shut off the camera and to stretch out my body. I was able to fight off all those thoughts and hopefully you'll be able to get to that level someday so check out the video uh, I hope you like this video uh, leave me a thumbs up subscribe and uh, if you like this kind of content I'm gonna be releasing more of it in the future uh, leave me some feedback in the comments whether you liked it uh, if you found my sit interesting uh, also uh, you should try uh, these meditation techniques for yourself Every single day uh, in the morning, you're training your mind, you're doing reps, you're training your awareness muscles so that you can get all these benefits that I've talked about. And hopefully I've convinced you to take up a meditation practice for yourself. Uh, leave me some feedback if you tried doing a strong determination sit, how it went for you. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Here's my time lapse.